In a previous video, we learned how adding a chordal seventh to five enhances its gravitational pull toward the tonic. It also allows composers to harmonize scale degree four with dominant rather than predominant harmony. This video extends the concept of a chordal seventh to another common chord with dominant function, the seven diminished chord. Owing to the tritone between scale degrees seven and four, seven diminished sounds rather stark in root position and is used more frequently in first inversion. If we stack an additional third on seven diminished, however, we obtain a rich and highly dissonant sonority. This is especially true in a minor key, where the chordal seventh creates a second tritone in what is known as a diminished seventh chord. The chord takes its name from the intervals above the bass, a diminished fifth and a diminished seventh, to be precise, and is denoted as follows. Composers often use this minor mode version in major keys by lowering scale degree six with an accidental. Because tritones have a strong tendency to resolve in a particular direction, this chord, which is comprised of two interlocking tritones, provides fertile ground for playing with a listener's expectations. We'll discuss the versatile modulatory potential of seven diminished seven in another lesson, but for now we'll focus on its standard voice leading and local coloristic effects. Seven diminished seven typically resolves to the tonic with voice leading similar to five seven. The leading tone resolves up by step and the chordal seventh resolves down by step. Because the chord contains two tritones, composers must be extra careful not to follow a diminished fifth by a perfect fifth. In some cases, this forces us to double the third of the ensuing tonic. Parallel fifths are even more pronounced when using the major mode version of this chord, seven half diminished seven, which contains a perfect fifth. One solution is to revoice the chord to obtain a perfect fourth instead of a perfect fifth. Even though the voice leading of seven diminished seven and five seven is similar, these chords aren't interchangeable, as dominant and diminished seventh chords create different coloristic effects. More specifically, diminished seventh chords sound harsher and more dissonant, and performers should be sensitive to these qualities and their varying effects. Imagine how different the finale of Beethoven's Appassionata would sound with dominant seventh chords instead of diminished seventh chords. Composers will also want to couple the effect they want to achieve with the appropriate chord. Consider this opening from Beethoven's Piano Sonata in C minor, opus 10 number 1. Notice how Beethoven contrasts 5-4-3 in measure 4 with 7 diminished 6-5 on the downbeat of measure 5. The effect is subtle, but saving the more dissonant 7th chord for the passage marked forte enhances the dynamic contrast that serves as a motivic element throughout the movement. In our next lesson, we'll explore even further the kinship between 5-7 and 7-7 seven seven by discussing their respective inversions.